What's up guys? Welcome to your 28th Android tutorial for the new Boston. Again, we're going to be working with this text play class or this text play activity that we set up. We're just going to set up our, uh, our actual button. We've set up and pretty much finished our toggle button, but now we want to set up our t uh, check command button. So again, um, just go down below this line of uh, where we closed off our setting up our on-click listener for our toggle button should be two brackets below we're still within the on create method and we're just gonna quickly set up our button called check command so we're gonna type out the variable name check command or you know chk cmd and then uh, hit dot set on click listener you guys should be getting pretty familiar with this we're just gonna finish off the statement so we don't forget later and then we're gonna you know hit new view dot on click listener enter and uh, it'll set it up for us. Now what we're going to do it within here is basically we're going to see what text is in our edit uh, our edit view and it's going to compare it to some commands that we're going to set up. So what we're going to do first is set up a new string variable and we're going to call this check. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull from the edit text called input that we set up. So we're going to say input and we're going to say dot and we're going to say get text. It's a method that we can use that's editable um, from the edit text class. And this is just going to give us what text is within that edit text. And then what we're going to do is set it to a string or convert it into a string variable. So we just hit dot and use the method to string. And you guys can always uh, read over here to get a little infor more information if you guys want. But uh, th there we go. Now every time we click this check command button, it's going to change this check variable that we just set up to whatever is in our edit box. And again, uh, here's our edit text. It's going to get the text from the box for the most part and then convert it to a string. So those are some methods you guys might want to use for you know your edit text when you're working with those. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say if and then uh, you guys are kind of familiar with the if statement hopefully we're gonna say if check and we're get basically gonna compare it to a text that we want or a command for the most part so we're gonna use a method I mean you you'd expect say um, you might think of something like this if uh, you know our our edit box for the most part equals uh, Travis we can do something but you can't compare two strings like that because again this is a string for the most part and this is a string you can't compare them with the equal sign which is pretty lame but we have to use a method so we're gonna say if dot and it says content equals and it's gonna compare it to a character sequence so basically that means um, it's gonna be case sensitive for the most part and it's a boolean so it's gonna be true or false so if if our check or whatever is in our edit box equals you know whatever uh, string we set up here so we're gonna say something like left if I can type left and then we're gonna set up a pair of brackets right here and so now if if our edit box if someone typed in left all lower excuse me all lowercase um, and hit enter or hit uh, the the button called check command it's gonna set up this variable pull the text from it, turn it into a string, and then um, basically so our check would equal left right now for the most part. And then it's going to compare it to this command left that we set up. So if you know our string equals left, and it, it's going to basically do whatever is within this statement. And then we're going to say else, just like we did before, but now we can say if. So it's basically going to check through this statement as well and we can just kind of copy and paste our little our basically our uh, what we're checking here and we're gonna say if it equals center and you guys can put another bracket here and then we can also say else if and then copy and paste and this time we're gonna say right So there we go. I know we're getting a lot of brackets, so hopefully you guys are following along perfectly and you aren't getting any errors or anything. But uh, and that's also why we closed off that statement early because 
you know, looking through all these brackets, you're like, dang it, where am I supposed to close that off? For the most part, I mean, I don't know if that's confusing or not, but um, hopefully you guys follow along, and then we're going to set up what these are going to do uh, within the next tutorial, as well as set up some more commands, and just have some fun with this text. But uh, that's just kind of the introduction to the else if statements. Um, I, we did the if else the last tutorial for the most part or two tutorials ago I'm not for sure but uh, this is the if else and we also converted a edit text into a string so that's what we've done and then we compare basically two strings together by using this method content equals and then whatever we want to compare it to so hopefully that made some sense and hopefully you guys are getting familiar with how to set up these buttons so you can you know tell your friends hey man if you have a button you need set up I'm your man but uh, besides that thanks again for watching we'll uh, hope to see you in the next tutorial have a good one